Let's look at the first P, platform. And if you Google platform and book marketing, the name that you'll come across is Michael Hyatt. Michael Hyatt was the former CEO of Thomas Nelson Publishing in the United States, and he wrote a book called Platform. I've mentioned this before, I think. Platform, get noticed in a noisy world. Now go to Amazon, take a look at it, um, download the Kindle if you want. He actually has a ton of material on his website that actually will share with you pretty much what he's saying about platform. And I'm going to summarize drastically, Michael, forgive me. It's about a website and it's about your social presence. So here's the thing. You need a simple website, a home for your book, for you, for your consulting pro, uh, practice. And we've touched on that before. I'm recommending a, a separate book for your, uh, a separate website for your book, as well as for you as an individual um, for a number of reasons. Um, but the thing is, uh, don't get sucked into spending too much time on your website. Don't get sucked into thinking, spending too much time on your social media footprint. Pick a platform that's right for you, LinkedIn or Facebook, uh, Twitter. Uh, I use all three of those. And, and another time I'll share with you my statistics on that. But at the moment, I'm getting most traction with LinkedIn and a little bit with Facebook and not so much with Twitter at the moment. I've set those platforms in place. You can find us at facebook.com slash authors FM. You can find us at twitter.com slash authors FM. You can find me on YouTube. Uh, it's another social channel that we have, and you've seen that as well. Um, don't get obsessed with this. Uh, let's take a quick look at Michael Hyatt's site, and then I'll tell you why not to get too obsessed with your author platform. Let's go to can go to michaelhyatt.com and you'll learn all about him. Now, in the last couple of years, he's moved, uh, he's tried to separate himself from, from the platform business a little bit because he's trying to market productivity tools, a planner and all sorts of things here. He has a podcast, coaching, blog. Um, but take a quick look right down. Well, by all means, have a look at all these, these other things. But this is about his personal brand. But right down at the bottom of the page, um, you will see under products. So he's got a, a ton of uh, books, a planner. Um, there's a little uh, PDF here called Get Published. So there's an interesting, um, you could take a look at that. I'm, I have it. Um, I'm, I'm ambivalent about it. I, I think it covers a lot of the basics. Uh, if you've been following along with me, then I think I've touched on a lot of the basics for you. But have a look at that. It might be you. It, you might be interested in that. The thing I do want you to look at is Platform University. Take a look at this. I was a member right from the very beginning of Platform University. I stayed in for about two years. Every month there's a new interview with a thought leader in this area, somebody who runs membership sites, uh, software, how to build lists and that sort of thing. Um, so there are some different articles here and, and I love this, this phrase here, build an engaged online audience from scratch. So in, in part it's about uh, your creating a membership site, if you will, but it is about your platform. It's about your community, your audience. Um, so I was a member of this for two years. I found that it, it began to get a bit repetitive after a couple of a couple of years. But for those early years when Michael was just setting this uh, platform out, it was really, really good. Um, there were you know videos with men and women who do an amazing job of different aspects of marketing your platform, building your platform. And here's a, a video interview with Brian Harris on growing an email list. Now, I wanna talk about Brian Harris a little bit later on. So Platform University is really about you, your community, and your hub, website, social. It's not really about reaching out to men and women outside your immediate community. And, and I wanted to, you know, I'm sure, Michael, if you're watching, you'll utterly disagree with me with that on that. And, and I'm sure you've got some stuff on the website that really helps people to connect with men and women outside their community. But I, I think the way I characterize the platform material, here's, here's you and here's your platform, if you like. It's your website, your social footprint. It's where it's your presence on the web. I'm not talking about your physical office or where you are, but your platform is your presence on the web. And the thing is, 
If you don't have many readers, if you don't have many subscribers, if you don't have many customers associated with this project right now, then don't spend too much building this out because nothing will happen. You know, however fancy, however much great material you have here, nothing is going to happen. It only happens when you reach out to your community. And it's the other four Ps. That's where you reach out to the community. So yes, you need a platform in place first, I believe, so that when you do start reaching out to people, they've got somewhere to go. When they Google you, they're going to find something. But these are the more important Ps in promoting you and your book. Because when you podcast, for example, you reach out into a new community. You put a podcast on iTunes or Spotify or Stitcher. You're reaching a new community of people and attracting them, giving them a footpath towards your material. When you engage with partners, and we'll talk about that in a moment, you're engaging with partners who already have links with your potential new community. When you go paperless, and we'll talk about that in a minute, you again attract people into your community. And finally, when you promote what it is you're doing into different markets, and market is just a grouping of, of men and women that you want to approach, then that's providing a footpath into your world, into your community. So don't obsess about your platform. Build it for sure, but don't expect them to come. Remember that field of dreams, build it and they will come. No, they won't. We need to show them the road, give them maps, reach out to them. So that's all I'll say on, on platform. Michael Hyatt's work on platform was groundbreaking at the, at the start. In fact, the National Speakers Association tried to sort of um, build their services as, as platform. You as a speaker were a platform. And there was a bit of a, a, a legal ding dong between them. I think it was settled amicably in the end. But if you Google platform in the, in the context of book or marketing or websites, Michael Hyatt's is the name that will come up. So you owe it to yourself at least to look at what he's doing. Take the free courses, take the free videos, have a look at that and make your own judgment whether his strategy is right for you. Website, a little bit of a social presence. Good advice. Let's move on. Let's look at P number two. Let's look at podcasts, podcasting.